Hey y'all and welcome. If you're new here, my name is Amber. On my channel we primarily talk about handbags and accessories, but also cover a wide range of other items to let you know if the quality matches up to the price tag or not. So if any of that sounds good to you, then stick around and let's hang out. Alright, so we're on to part two of our must-have huge Timu handbag haul. These bags are fantabulous. As always, I will have my direct link and discount code to Timu linked in the description box for you in case you are interested. Everything will be numbered up in the corner here, and if it is still available, it will be linked for you in the description box as well. So let's get into part two of these handbags. Okay, I have 10 more bags to share with y'all in part two. So I'm going to start with the first one that's not a direct dupe, but it's more of an inspiration type bag. So this one did not come with a dust bag. But this is what it looks like. It's a little small barrel bag. And of course I went for the like light sagey green shade. And the reason I picked this one up, I don't think this one is a direct dupe of anything, but lots of designer brands are making these little circular small barrel type bags. Like Louis Vuitton has the Papillion, Pap Papillon, Papillon bag, I think is how you pronounce it. But let me show you the detail on this one really quick. Cause I thought it was really cute. So you have it's almost like a perforated branding right here. GDBB. I'm not sure what that is. You have guard, guard, gold hardware with kind of a little bit of an oversized zip there. And then you have two shorter little grab handles on this, which I think are just incredibly cute. No pockets on the outside or anything like that. You just have your D rings on each end. The quality on this one is really good. The piping looks good. The stitching looks good. It still showed up in a fairly cylindrical shape on the inside it is lightly colored so you can see everything really well which i appreciate you have a zip pocket along the back there and then nothing along the front other than just the open space there so just for a size reference here's my cell phone case you can see how that fits down in there so this will hold your basic essentials it's a small bag but it will hold the basics and then it also comes with the adjustable removable crossbody strap, which I find incredibly cute, even though there's something red on mine. I'm not sure what that little red mark is right there, but that's okay. The strap itself feels like pretty good quality. It's a nice kind of thick woven material and it is a slide adjustment. And then on the strap, you also get one of the little coin purses. Of course, it's kind of squished up, but it's a cute little malleable coin purse so it'll hold some stuff and then it is clipped on with a little lobster clip it is a swivel so that is good and this hardware feels pretty nice actually so let me adjust this all the way out and we'll see if it'll go crossbody so at its longest setting this is where it falls on me that's a good length to me I could totally wear that crossbody I think this one's really really cute and I love the color I think it also came in like a beige, like a beigey tan and then a cream white color. So I think this one's definitely worth it. I think it's super cute. All right, next one up is in this little dust bag and that's the back of it. So let me show you the front. So this is the next bag that I picked up. Now this one reminds me of, let me show you the Timu listing because this again came in a couple of different color options. Let me get the sticker off. Okay, it got a little smushed in shipping, of course, but I picked this one up because this was another bag that really reminded me of a Chloe bag. I can't remember if it's called the Marcy or, or the Drew bag, but as I mentioned in part one, Chloe, as a brand, in my opinion, loves to mix the media on their bags. So this upper section is like a faux suede and then you have a faux leather on the bottom. But the whole reason this reminded me of the bag style is because of the closure. So the Chloe bag that you should be seeing right now has this exact closure where you have this little turn lock piece that your bag latches onto. But when you put it on there and you twist it, you have this little stick on a chain. I don't know. And it goes through there and it's supposed to secure it. Well, you don't actually have to turn it to secure the bag. You can just leave it straight up and down and then put your little stick thing straight through it and it won't fall out the side. 
but this is the exact same type of closure that's on that Chloe bag. It has kind of a similar shape and all of that as well with that top handle. So this definitely reminds me of the Chloe bag. No pockets on the back or anything. Your faux leather is like a faux croc. And when you open up the flap, there is a zipper closure as well if you would like to keep it zipped. And then on the inside of this one, we have like a burgundy lining. And you have a zipper pocket on the back here with a couple of slip pockets right here on the front, if you can see those. And again, for size reference, there's my cell phone. Or if I stand it up vertically, that's what it looks like. So you have a really decent amount of space in this one. And then it also comes with the longer adjustable removable. Nope, I don't think it's adjustable, but it's the longer removable strap. So the strap at the top has the little break on it and it's in that faux suede and then the rest of it is in a chain. This is not my favorite strap. These chains don't always look the most high quality in my opinion, but it's definitely not the cheapest that I've ever seen either. And then you do get a swivel lobster clip with it. And then your strap just attaches onto the same hardware bits with your top handle here. And if I try to wear this crossbody, this is definitely going to be a boob bag, so that is not a crossbody for me. But as a shoulder bag, that's how it looks, just directly connected. But you could, if you wanted it to be shorter, you could run these chains through the D-ring, or through the hardware bits, and connect them on the opposite side. And... That will give you two different options. It will, first of all, make your strap, <clears throat> excuse me, make your strap shorter, or it will allow you to double up the strap and make it much shorter for just like a crook of the arm type thing, or you could just kind of clunk it all together with your top handle there and just carry it top handle, however you want to do it. But you do have options when you have a removable strap. So that is the next bag. I do like this one. I think for the price, this isn't bad. The quality is pretty good on it. This one's not bad. I like it. All right, the next one comes in this little dust bag and this is a tiny little bag, let me tell you. But this is the little Jacquemus dupe that they had on there. That's French. Ha <laughs> It's a, I don't know if it's French Vivi. or not. Vivi. Vivi. I don't know Croissant. if it's French or not. Croissant. But this is a little Jacquemus dupe. So I will show you a bag similar to this that they make, I am sure. And it does have the little logo branding right here in the corner. The quality on this one is not bad. It does have a couple of little spots on it that I think could have been cleaned up. Like, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but like right here on this edging, there's a little indent. And then on the back down here at the bottom, there's a little indent and the edging. But as far as the stitching and everything like that goes, it looks pretty good. Like I can't, can't really complain on it. This is just a teeny, teeny, tiny bag. Of course, I went with a grain. It does have a magnetic snap closure, works really, really well. One large open pocket. Let me pull everything out and I'll show you what's inside and the straps. So the inside of this one, you have a light colored lining. No pockets against the front, but you do have a zipper pocket against the back there. And then you get two straps with this bag. So you get this kind of bizarre, in my opinion, huge chunky strap. And I didn't even realize this, but okay, this strap is just totally bizarre. But right here, apparently this is a little flap pocket that you can snap closed on the strap. It's not lined up just right, I'll tell you that much. I'm not sure what you could put in it, but it is a little slip pocket right there. But um, they put the inside part of the snap in a little bit too far. It should have been further out. So it's not lined up perfectly, but it's okay. And then the end of this strap is kind of bizarre. It just looks like shoestrings that somebody tied off and put one of the little T-bars on. And I guess if you want to use this shorter one, you literally just stick the little T-bar 
through the hardware, the little D-rings on each side, and then you cross your fingers and hope that it doesn't fall back out. And that is what the shorter strap looks like on it. So I mean, you could definitely get a little shoulder bag out of it, but this jig this strap is wider than the bag is, so I'm not crazy about those proportions. I think that's a little I definitely think that shorter strap is a little funky looking. But you do also get a much more normal, traditional strap that comes with it. Hardware on this one is okay. It's not the best I've ever seen. It does have a good spring, and it is the swivel clip. It's just not very heavy duty, and if you can see, that clip is a little pushed over as it is, but it is a regular strap, so let's try this one. No additional keeper, so if you want to shorten this one, you could have the tail of your strap just flapping it around in the wind. But you get one, two, three, four, five, six adjustments on the strap from here to here. So that's a decent little adjustment. And then on its longest setting, this is where it falls on me. So because it's such a small bag, I could make this work crossbody. I still am not super crazy about it being up this high, but I can make it work. Overall, if you can get away with using a teeny tiny bag, and I do mean teeny tiny, then this one is really cute. The quality on it is pretty good. I don't like that shorter strap. It's bizarre. But just for a size reference, there's how my cell phone looks in there. So you can see this one does not have a lot of space in it at all. You're going to be your bare, bare, bare essentials with this one. But that is the next bag, the little Jacquemus dupe. Ha ha ha. Thanks. <laughs> I knew you were going to do it. Okay, this next little bag is a dupe for a handbag that I've loved since I saw it. And it, I love the bag, but of course it got smushed in transit and shipping. So be kind to this one because it has some dents and some wrinkles and things in it. But look past those because we're going to give it some love and it'll be beautiful when we're done. So <laughs> it comes in this little dust bag. And here's the bag. So if this one is still available, I'll show you the Timu listing first, obviously. And then I'm gonna show you what this is a dupe for. And this is a dupe for the Givenchy Antigona. And I know that the Antigona may seem like a very simple kind of satchel style bag, but if you really look at it, the Antigona has a very unique shape. It's not just a typical dome style bag with that rounded top edge. It has these angles that come off the sides so it comes across and then it angles down more on the sides like you can see in this photo and I've been looking for a dupe of this bag style for I couldn't even tell you how long and this is the first one that I ran across that really kind of embodied the overall look of the Antigona so I had to get it now you can see that the straps on this one got a little pushed around and deformed because it was smushed in transit but just pretend that they're straight because they will be by the time that I'm done, of course. But this is a mock croc in a kind of patent, faux patent leather finish. It has gold hardware. Overall, the quality on this one looks really good. You have feet on the bottom. The stitching and everything looks beautiful on this. They even got the handles on this one connected the right way. They didn't put the hardware on it. These shorter straps are fixed. So you can go crook up the arm, you can carry a top handle, or it does come with an adjustable removable strap. You get a top zip closure, so let me pull everything out and I'll show you. So the inside of this one and the strap are different than the actual Antigona, but the overall bag style and shape itself is, is really on point. This one is a pretty good dupe. So on the inside of this one, I don't know which side you would want to call the front or the back because they're identical. But on one side, you get a zipper pocket. And then on the opposite side, you get two slip pockets here, if I can show them to you. One is quite a bit larger than the other, if you can see that. That's just a little tag off to the side. And then this is a style that does have that middle zipper kind of divider compartment. I'm really, really bad for just cutting those out of my bags because I don't particularly care for them, but it is in there. 
you do have a really good amount of space in here. Again, I'll show you how my cell phone looks. That's just sitting against that little middle divider because it will move and kind of push around. But it would also stand up vertically in, let's see, I don't know if it'll fit in the pocket, but we can check. So my phone will fit in that slip pocket, but you can see it would stick out above the zipper, so that won't really work. But you do just get a really good amount of space in there, so you can fit all of your essentials, no problem. And apparently this came with a little bag charm as well if you want to use it. So you could just wrap it around one of your handles and make it as long or short as you like. But it just looks like a little leaf with a pearl. It's cute. And then you get your longer adjustable removable strap. So this one is a slide adjuster and it is still in that kind of faux patent leather. I do wish they had made this not in the patent leather and in just a regular faux leather, but it's all good. So the hardware on this one isn't bad. You have a pretty good spring. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It's got the swivel clips. It's not bad. I've definitely seen better and I've definitely seen a whole lot worse. So I've already adjusted it out to its longest setting. And all the way out, this is where it hits on me. So those top handles are kind of pushing up a little higher than I would prefer. So I probably wouldn't wear this crossbody. But you could sling it on crossbody if you needed to. If I shorten it, I'll show you how short it'll go. So at its absolute shortest setting, this is what it looks like. It's about right up here. So I don't know that I would wear it that short because you would have these two shorter grab handles kind of poking up in your armpit. But I would probably go somewhere in the middle of those two settings. Strap is not bad. It's okay. I've definitely seen better, but it's not the worst. But the stitching on it and everything looks pretty good. I don't think this strap's going to fall apart on you. I'm just not the biggest fan of faux patent leather or patent leather for that matter. But I just had to get this bag because it looked so much like the Antigona. And that is a bag style I've loved since I saw it. So this is the next little dupe. The Givenchy Antigona dupe. Okay, the next little bag is in here. So I'm going to show you the Tima listing for this one if it is still available. And I believe this one was available in a couple of different colors, like a white, a black, and a red, maybe. Now I'm going to show you what this is a dupe for. So this is a dupe for the Prada Kahir bag. Now, there were a couple different versions of the Prada Kahir. There was one that just had like a simple buckle right here on the front that didn't have the lion head or the like little knocker piece. And then there was this version that came with the little lion head and the knocker piece and all of that. And this little dupe is so cute. So you can see it's made out of like a faux grained leather or a faux pebbled leather and a faux smooth leather. leather. <laughs> so you have the mixed kind of medias, both a faux leather, but one smooth, one pebbled. And then you have this awesome little lion head like knocker piece right here on the front. You get the metal detailing around the corners and the rivets across the top and it's just like a badass little bag and then you can just pull the little knocker or you can grab the bottom of the tab whichever one you prefer and it's a snap magnetic button closure right here so this one does have the additional zipper at the top if you like to zip your zip your bag closed as well so you do have that option if you want to I never use the zippers on these and then on the inside you don't have any additional pockets because again this is a very small bag but it is lined in like a faux leather so here's my cell phone for reference you could get a bigger phone in here for sure there's probably about an inch beyond my phone if you can see in that corner but definitely an essentials only kind of bag. So it also comes with this little adjustable strap. I just lied to you. It also comes with a additional strap that is removable, but it is not adjustable. This strap is one length. Now I have to be honest. I generally like a guitar strap mixed with a kind of nicer, dressier looking bag because I enjoy that kind of juxtaposition. 
but I'm not a huge fan of it on this one. I do think a chain strap or just a nice leather strap would have looked better, but this is how this one sits on me if I try to wear it crossbody. So I could make it work, but again, it's a little bit higher than I would normally prefer, but I also don't think I would ever wear this one crossbody. I think this is a bag that you take out for a nice dinner or a date night. I would probably just put my hand through this little top strap and just hand carry it like a, a clutch bag because I think on this one, if you're going to order it, you're going to carry it, you're going to use this one, then the whole point to it is to show that lion because he's the star of the show. But I do think this one is super cute. I think it's a great dupe. I really like this one. So that was the next one. All right, the next bag up comes in this little black dust bag. And this one, the quality of this dust bag is not bad. But as soon as I saw this, I had to grab it. So this is what the bag looks like. So I'm gonna show you the team listing if it's still available. Of course, if it's not, it'll just be a frowny face, unfortunately. But I've seen these a few different places and I had to look into what this was supposed to be because the bag itself is just like a little camera bag, but the brand is Lola Ibimba, I think. Mm. And from what I have found, this is a brand that's fairly popular overseas. I want to say in like Europe. And if you actually look at the bag, they did a phenomenal job getting this quilting in the background, like perfectly centered on this. And this is a faux leather, but it looks so good. It looks almost like an aged calf sit, calf skin where it's got that crinkled leather look to it, like an old motorcycle jacket that you've worn and broken and loved. And then this did come in the option to get the black lettering. And this lettering is like, like an acrylic or something. It's not just, I don't know. It's, it's really cool. It has a silver hardware, no feet or anything like that. Like I said, this is just like a camera bag. It has this kind of nice chunky zipper pull. The zippers are incredibly smooth on this one. On the inside, you get that branding patch, the Bimba Elola thing. And that is a, I started to say, yeah, that is a slip pocket right back there. It's not very big. This would be maybe for like credit cards or something like that. No pockets on the other side. You just have the open space. Again, for size reference, that's how my cell phone looks in there. So this is another essentials only type bag. But this has some weight to it. Like genuinely, I can feel the quality in this one. It's not heavy or anything like that, but it just feels good. And then it also comes with this branded longer kind of guitar strap that I am totally digging. So let me get this open and I'll show it to you. Okay, so here's the strap that comes with it. And if you can see that, it has the branding or the logoing kind of in the strap there, but it's tonal. So it doesn't stick out a ton, but this is a nice wide, like thick. It's a really nice strap. It's a slide adjustment. And these hardware bits are fabulous. They are thick and chunky. Fabulous. They're not a swivel clip. That's the only thing I'm not crazy about, but they're awesome. They're just big and chunky and they remind me of the Loewe hardware actually, but you get these nice chunky leather tabs on either end and I've already adjusted it to the longest setting and here is where it falls on me at the longest it'll go, which is really nice. It's not too short. It doesn't hang down to my knees. You know, it's a little below my hip line. This is a really, really good strap length. This should fit nearly anybody. But overall, I absolutely adore this one. If you like a camera bag style, and like I said, they did make this one in the solid black lettering as well. So if you didn't like the green, the way it sticks out so much, you could definitely go for the black. But I adore this one. This is one of the best little bags, best little dupes that I have picked up from Timu. Quality is amazing. I just think this one's fabulous. So that's the next one. All right, next up is in this little dust bag. And this is another one that I love. Wow. So this is the first piece because this is a multi-piece little set. 
and this is of course if it's still available on Timo you would see that listing but this is a dupe for the Louis Vuitton multi pochette accessoire in their leather the epi or the emprunt leather I'm not sure which one it is it's one of their leathers but you can see all the pieces that I've pulled out and if you saw my super duper review recently on the well I can't pull it up but if you saw my super duper review on the multi pochette accessoire then you know what this looks like but these are made to connect together to create like a multi pouch bag and surprisingly this style or these style little bags hold more than what you think they will so I picked this one up in the blue and it does have a brand here on it but the bags themselves are made just like the LV version so the shorter or the smaller one has the little clips on it to clip onto the D rings of the larger bag and I do think this one has one thing going for it that the actual LV version does not and it is that the little chain strap that comes with it has its own clips so you can clip it on the larger one or the smaller one you can separate them use each bag separately you can put it all together and use it as one multi-piece bag or my favorite way to use it is to actually pull everything apart separately and use them like little pouches in my larger bags but the quality on this is impeccable the quilting is gorgeous it's on point it's centered the piping is beautiful the faux leather is beautiful there's literally nothing that I can complain about on this one the zippers are beautiful quality they're very smooth they work really really well so essentially you have the chain strap so you can wear them like a little shoulder bag or you can use them individually as a little shoulder bag with the chain this isn't my favorite chain that I've ever seen on a bag because where it has these larger links, in my opinion, it just doesn't look the most high quality. So I would probably use one of my own chains that has a smaller link to it because I just think they look better personally. But that is 100% personal preference. Some people prefer the larger links. And then <clears throat> it also comes with a little coin pouch. Now this is probably the piece of this set that I like the least. Because for some reason, they did not quilt the little coin purse. They didn't do anything with it. They just left it the plain faux leather. And the zipper works fine. It's it's fine. You could put your AirPods in it or whatever. But I just wish they would have actually quilted it as well as the bag. It does have the nice Louis Vuitton style clip on it. It is a swivel, so it will completely turn. And then you also get this guitar style strap that comes with it. And that's the style of strap that comes with the real LV multi pochette is a guitar style strap. So your strap has the little clip on here where you can clip the little coin purse on if you want. I particularly don't, or I personally don't like little things dangling off of my strap. I have way too many things dangling off my purse. Well, bag charm is fine. I don't mind I have a like bag 40. charm. Yeah, I don't mind a bag charm hanging off my bag, but I don't like it hanging off my strap like that. But you can see I have this adjusted out as far as it'll go and there's plenty of length on this one like this is well below my hip so this should fit the tallest person or you know someone larger than me. It's very comfortable, super cute as a little crossbody. I have picked up a couple versions of this kind of little multi pochette type dupe bags and all of them that I have picked up have been really really good quality. So. I definitely recommend this one and I love this blue it's a gorgeous like deep teal blue but I love it highly recommend this one I got so in entranced with this one I forgot to show you all the insides so the smaller pouch doesn't have any pockets or anything like that but it does have kind of this like detailed patterned lining in there if you can see that but the larger pouch has a zipper pocket along the back that's trimmed out in that faux leather and just to give you a size reference there's my phone in the larger pouch and there's how it looks in the smaller pouch so I almost forgot to show you all that okay we're at our last three bags now so 
This next one is in its little dust bag. It's cute. And this is what it looks like. So if this one is still available, I'll show you the Timo listing, of course. But this is a dupe for a little Prada bag. Now, I believe this one comes from the men's section and forgive me, but I cannot remember what this is called to save my life. But this is a little dupe for a men's bag from the Prada nylon collections. So you can see from back here, it has that kind of signature Prada upside down triangle logo on it. This one, of course, does not say Prada. It just says something. But you can see from the photos what this is referencing. So the, let's start with this strap, actually. The strap itself is kind of a seat belty material, but it is nice and thick and heavy duty silver hardware with a slide adjustment the only thing that i do not like is that this pouch is not removable so if you can see the strap just slides through these i guess like smaller straps but you can't undo them and the strap doesn't detach so this little piece is just kind of always there you could of course just cut it off and re do something with it to make it detachable but the way it comes it's not detachable it's just fixed on there so you have this kind of chunky zipper pull and this is just a large pouch I think this was probably designed to hold like your cell phone because that's how mine fits in there you have about mine stops right here so you have about three quarters of an inch above my phone there but yeah, I just wish wish that this strap or this pouch was detachable. Otherwise, the strap is really nice. It seems like fantastic quality. And then on this side, you also get an additional D-ring if you wanted to clip something else on there. And then the front, I already showed you the little kind of Prada-inspired logo. And this is a push clip closure. And when you open it up, this is just one really nice, large, open pocket. No pockets on the back. And then you have one main zipper pocket. And then inside here, against the front wall, you get a really large slip pocket that my phone will easily go in. And then you also get on the back side a zipper pocket there if you can see that and then otherwise it's just one kind of large open space so you can see this is definitely more of an east-west style bag so it's more elongated this way and then really quickly I will adjust the strap out and show you how far it will go all right with that little pouch on there this is about as far out as I can get it adjusted because your little slide adjustment has to stay above that pouch it won't go below it so yeah that's about as far as it'll adjust out but that's still plenty of length that's that's probably about the perfect length for me it's like right around my hip bone there so this one makes a really nice crossbody and if you wore this on the other side than me you wouldn't have that big pouch in the front and like I said if you didn't want that big pouch you could just cut it off and use the bag itself but this one is awesome quality. It has like a faux leather on the bottom. All of the stitching looks great. Everything on this one looks like really, really good quality. So I really like this one. But this was the next bag, the little Prada men's nylon range dupe. All right, second to last bag came in a box. And this one is from a brand called Jelly Ayomos. If y'all remember a while back, I picked up another bag from this brand or this seller on Timu, and that bag also came in its own box. So this is the only brand or the only seller that I have purchased from on Timu that has consistently sent me the bag that I've ordered from them in a box, which I absolutely love. Y'all know how I feel about my bags getting squished in transit and all of that. So this box really protects the bag and helps with that. And yeah, highly recommend this brand. So the box just opens like that. And the bag is in here. 
And here is the little bag. This is definitely a teeny tiny one. I'll show you the Timu listing. But when I saw this, I could not pass it up. Because this, again, is another little Valentino Rock Stud inspired bag. Now, this one is different. This one is much more of an inspired piece than a dupe. Because this is not identical to the Valentino bags. As you can see, this one doesn't have like the pointy studs on it. This one has more like rounded off, almost kind of like beading in the place of the studs. But this one is real leather, if I'm remembering correctly. And the quality on this is phenomenal. You get that same style top handle, which I'm not going to unwrap, but hopefully you can see that D-ring there. You get that flat style top handle, just like the Valentino bags. And like I said, this... This is a play on the Rockstead range, and it is so incredibly cute. The quality is just awesome. So it is a turn lock bag, but it has stickers all over it, and I haven't taken those off yet. Okay. And then on the inside here, you do just get one large open pocket, which I appreciate that they didn't chop this up and try to section it out because it's already quite small. But where they left it with just the one large open pocket, you're actually going to be able to fit more in here than what you think. So I think this one would be fabulous for a little dressy bag. There's nothing wrong with this turn lock, you guys. It's just where I've left the stickers on, they're getting caught and I don't wanna take them off because I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this one or go ahead and put it for sale in the next vlog sale. Cause it is so tiny and I already have so many small kind of dressy bags. And if this one's not available anymore, I might wanna let one of y'all have the chance of getting this one. But you're definitely going to be able to get your essentials in there no problem which I think is fabulous you have the little feet on the bottom and then it does come with an adjustable removable strap so let me pull it out and I'll show that one to y'all okay so the little strap that comes with it is just a thin little leather strap with a buckle adjustment the hardware is gold and looky there you get an extra little keeper bit with this one and it's even got the gold backing on it. Super cute. So let me adjust this all the way out. Actually, right now it's on the shortest setting. So I'll show you that first. The hardware on this is so nice. The little clips are quite small, but they have a really good spring. They're a nice little chunky size. They have the swivel clips. This one is just so nice all the way around. So at its shortest setting, the strap is a little kinked up where it was folded, but at its shortest setting, here's where it falls on me. So there, this strap is phenomenal quality. It looks great, all of that. But me personally, I think this is a small, super cute little dressy bag. So I would probably put a gold chain strap with it if I wasn't just gonna carry it top handle. But let me go ahead and adjust it all the way out as far as it'll go and we'll see if it'll go crossbody. So you get six adjustments on here and they go from here to here. So it's not a huge, huge range of adjustment, but it's decent. So at its absolute longest setting, this one isn't quite a boob bag, but it's, uh, it's about right here. So the top handle sticks up a little bit, but the bag itself is right around here. So yeah, I could make that work as a crossbody if I really, really wanted to. But me personally, I would not wear this little bag as a crossbody because I think it is incredibly just way too nice for that. I think this, to do this bag justice, I think it needs a gold chain or it just needs to be, be carried top handle. But I think this one is absolutely stunning. I absolutely love it. Highly recommend. And they even did such a good job lining that quilting up. So the quilting on the flap lines up perfectly with the quilting on the bottom of the bag. This one is just such high quality. Like you can see it all the way around. They did a phenomenal job on this one. Absolutely adore this. Highly recommend it. Go grab it right now. And then the last bag for this haul is another one from the Louis Daisy or Louis Daisy company. So I showed you one at the beginning of part one that was from the same brand or company on Timu. And now I'm gonna show you the second one that I picked up from them. So their bags always come in a little branded dust bag. And they're always great quality. So this one again is a little dupe with its own kind of twist on it. 
So I will show you the Timu listing really quickly. And then I'm going to show you what this is actually a dupe for. And this is a dupe for the Louis Vuitton Papillon bag, Papillion bag. I'm not sure which way you pronounce it. But you can see the overall design, shape, look, feel of this bag is just like the LV bag. But they've given it their own kind of twist and put their own kind of monogramming on it, which I think is awesome. You still get that same kind of S-lock closure as the Louis Vuitton bag. But again, they've put their own kind of branding and twist on it. And to open this bag up, you just pinch it and then the flap lets loose and you open it up like this. So the bag itself doesn't have any pockets in it because this is a round kind of cylindrical bag. So it'd be a little difficult to put pockets in it, but that's what it looks like. To give you a size reference, here is my cell phone and it will fit in this bag with a little room to spare. So you can get your essentials in here you just might have to play Tetris with them a little bit because it is a round bag. So they're just going to go wherever they're going to go. But you get a chain with this one. Before I even show you the straps, the bag or the quality on this is absolutely fabulous. Just like every bag that I have picked up from them, the stitching is beautiful. The leather trim is beautiful. The little stud detailing, rivet detailing is fabulous. The bag is just great quality. I have no complaints with any of the bags that I have picked up from this particular seller. So you get a couple of straps with this one. You get a chain. And that's how the chain hangs off of it. And then of course you can use this as a little shoulder bag, which I think is super cute. It's just different. It's not your typical little shoulder bag. And then you also get another strap. So let me take this one out and I will show it to you really quickly. So the strap that you get with this one is, is, is really nice. It is a brown leather strap. It's a little bit wider. This is about an inch wide. And then it is adjustable, but it has the little kind of press stud uh, adjustments. You have one adjustment right in here, two more here, and then two on the end. So it's already set on its longest setting. I don't think this one's gonna go crossbody on me, but let's see. Even if it doesn't, you could always add the little strap extenders onto it to make it longer. But I do think this one is intended to be more of that sling style bag that sits up higher. So this would definitely be a boob bag on me and I would never wear it up this high. That's just not my style. It's not how I prefer it. But as a little shoulder bag, I think that is super cute. Like I said, these kind of cylindrical bags are definitely different. They're not the typical shape and style that you see on a lot of handbags now. And the quality on this one is just phenomenal. I have nothing to complain about on this one. It's beautiful. They did a fabulous job on it. So that is the last bag for this haul, the little Louis Vuitton Papillon dupe. So that is everything for part two of my massively huge Timu handbag designer dupe haul. I think I just jumbled that all up, but you all know what I meant. That was everything for this haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have any comments, questions, or you just want to say hello, then as always, please leave me a comment down below because I absolutely love to chat with y'all. And I am going to hush now. Thank you so much for spending some of your incredibly precious time with me, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.